That was Living on the Edge, and I have a very special guest calling in, and like I said, it is a surprise night full of lovely ladies of a horror calling in, and right now I have Beverly Randolph. How are you, Beverly? Hi, Suki. Fine, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Where Now, are Hi. you in California, too? I am in California. It's a beautiful sunny day right now. I'm, I'm walking around outside so my puppies don't bark. <laughs> oh, what kind of puppies? I have two Yorkies. Oh, little. Two, yeah, two little fluffy small Yorkies, but they do tend to bark whenever I do a phone interview. So, <laughs> so we're trying to stave it off. No, um... <laughs> Yeah, so, for those of you who are into the horror genre, you will know Beverly from Return of the Living Dead. Can you tell everyone a little bit about what you did? <laughs> it's well, a good I movie. played Tina. Yeah, I played Tina, the the female. Well, we had a couple leads in that. I, I guess you'd say Linnea, Linnea was quite the lead uh, girl in that, and I played the good girl in it. So, I had um, for those who haven't seen it, I'm the the good girl where the boyfriend turns into the zombie and comes after her. Now, do you have any tips on how to avoid uh, getting killed by a zombie? Because I was reading some how to survive on a horror film tips, and I was wondering if you had any uh, that you might want to share on how to survive a horror film. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, I had something like, don't go to the what? Don't go to the casting call. No. <laughs> 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 just avoid them at all costs. Because you never know if you're going to be written out <laughs> at the end. Oh, right. Yeah, you don't. Oh, gosh. Do you and know by... Or off. Or, yeah. Well, do you know that? You know, um, at, when you went to the casting call for the, the, the Return of the Living Dead, um, and they casted you as Tina, did you automatically know your fate or not? No. Or, no? We... We didn't know for months. Actually, it was almost a year before we found out if we... The, the, it took a long time for the movie to get off the ground. They had the financing, and then they ran into some legal troubles. And so we were all just kind of twiddling our thumbs, waiting to see if we were going to be in this movie. And finally, I think somebody saw it in The Hollywood Reporter or Variety and went... I think my mom even told me one way. She said, oh, my gosh, you're in the Variety for Return of the Living Dead. And I went, what? Oh, my gosh. I was I was really excited. So it was a... A long process, but I really thought I did really well on the interview because I wanted it so badly. And I knew once they got down to screen testing that something was up. So how did, you, I, how did you land the part? Like, I, I've i um, auditioned a couple of things. I've gotten a couple of random stuff, but uh, how do you, because I've never, I've never gone for a horror film before because I just like watching them. But how do you, yeah. uh, do you like... Give me your best. I'm dying because a zombie ate my face off screen. Or do they? Yeah. <laughs> how do they? Uh, how do they do that? Well, it's it's pretty much the, the typical casting call where you read the lines and then once you they they get a feel that they might like you, they want to see if you really can take a bite out of that character Didn't. that you can uh, do the crying. I, I cry so much in this, and <laughs> I'm always you know upset. So they wanted it, they wanted a girl who could really scream and really cry. And um, I just was able to do that. You know, you pull it, pull it from outside of you or inside of you and, and throw it out there and, and uh, hope that those tears flow. So <laughs> I, just, I just got lucky. I, really, I think it depends, too, if you really want the part. If you want it, you're going to do the work to, to make it happen. And it does, it's not to say that everybody who wants every part so badly is going to get it because, you know, you, you're not. There's been parts that I, I wanted equally as badly and I did not get. So um, that's just the way, you know, it, it goes. But, yeah, you just got to really work hard for it and hope for the best. You do have some of the best screens, um, the best, <laughs> like, freak outs, I'm going to call them. Uh, they're just, yeah. you, you, you really feel like, oh, my gosh, my boyfriend's a zombie. Uh, because it's just, it's so there. And uh, yeah. can you, do you watch it at all? Because I know that's kind of, maybe that's a silly question, but some people well, are like, no, I don't watch anything I've ever been in. And other people are like, yeah, I love watching myself. I know. Can you watch it now? <laughs> and, <laughs> well, I'm not a horror fan, so I don't like horror. Um, this one, of course, is not so hard for me to watch because I was there filming it. But um, normally I don't. And yes, I've seen this one so many times now because I finally let my son see it. And so his, his, um, I'd walk by the room and just see how it was going. If they were okay watching, it. He, he was 
I think 15 or 16 when we finally let him see it because of Linnea and <laughs> and some of the cursing. And um, but I I and we go to a lot of events where we have to sometimes sit through it. So um, I I have seen it. I do see it, and it, it does feel kind of funny. It's like you always want to um, correct things that you did, but you can't. So you know, it's it's you just gotta let it go and say yeah. And and yes, I do watch myself in that movie occasionally. Do you go back? <laughs> when I have to. <laughs> when you ha- wait, it's out of necessity. Yeah, thank you. Necessity. That was, yeah. Now, yes. uh, what are you doing now? Uh, I well, we just did a documentary based on the Return of the Living Dead series called Get More Brains, mm. and it was just released last week. We're really excited about it, and we just got entered into a a contest arc light. It was I think over 150 entries, and the top 10 got in, and we're in. I'm so excited, and I executive produced that with uh, Mikey Perez, and um, it's just really exciting. We're really it's it's done so well. It's, it's the same guys who did uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Ooh. they did such a phenomenal job on that. And this one, they I think they hit it out of the park. They just, it's it's even better than the last one. So, and these are hardworking guys, so they really want to do a good quality pro- a project. So that's what I've been doing. I'm very excited. I love watching the behind the scenes. Anything, anything like gory. You just, I mean, is it hard to work around I, all that makeup and then all this stuff that looks like real blood and guts? Is it is it a little like too realistic sometimes? Have you ever seen someone on um, on set go Bleh, and almost lose their cookies? <laughs> no, uh, no, because you watch the process from the the beginning, and it takes so long to get the makeup on that it just you know it, it doesn't. You're walking by and having your coffee, or you're walking by and having something to eat, and it's like, oh, how's it going? And then you just kind of keep moving on. So really not. I, I'm more impressed. Well, my husband's a production designer. He does uh, films and sets is what a production do- designer does. And so I'm just fascinated by the sets and how they they come about and uh, what they look like. So um, the, the blood and the guts and the, all of that doesn't um, bother me at all to see it on a, on a stage. It's almost like desensitate, uh, desensitate, blah, I can't talk, desensitized. Desensitized. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. You helped me out before, I'm helping you out now. Um, (laughs) Okay, um, we're even. Yeah. I like. No, it doesn't doesn't affect me. Okay, that's good. Um, That's good. Thank you. Uh, And where can people find information before I let you go? And thank you for letting me bug you for a couple minutes. But uh, where can people? Aw, you're adorable. Um, Where can people (laughs) find information on the documentary? Where can people like get that right now? Because you said it was just released last week, so it's pretty fresh. Well, there's a little uh, trick to this. You can go to um, www.getmorebrains. Dot com. If you order it directly from the website before, I think it's December 20th, I'm not sure, um, you can get a signed poster uh, signed by Brian Peck, James Karen, and I, mm. and the shipping is free. It's a great deal, so you've just got to go there and get it. But I believe it's also avail- available on Amazon, but you're not going to get the poster. And we're going to be doing signings about town, and we will also have it at our next convention that we're doing this weekend at FrankenCon, which is in El Paso, Texas. Ooh. We'll be there on Saturday and Sunday, and, and Mike Perez will be there with the uh, documentary. You guys are getting but all the so nice weather. I know. I'm so excited. Yes. It's, yeah, today I'm walking out and around, and it's just gorgeous. It's, how's your weather? Uh, there's a freeze warning tonight oh. here in uh, the eastern side of the country, but it's okay. I like hearing about sunshine from other people. <laughs> well, come on out here. It's blue, and yeah, it's great. Oh, oh I'm going to. I want to so bad. You know what? I'm just going <laughs> to fly out tonight, right? Oh, uh, thank you so up. much. Oh, awesome. Sweet. You hear that, guys? <laughs> Suki's out. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to me. I'm so stoked. I'm like so excited because I like like I see I like the genre. I like watching the blood yeah. and guts and gore and the zombies ripping people's arms off and you know zombies go uh, and they somehow you're running 20 miles an hour and the zombies dragging his leg and he still catches you. Like I love that yeah. stuff. I love it. Yeah. So uh, I'm just very excited to talk to you. Aw, thank you, Suki. Nice talking to you, too. You Maybe enjoy. Maybe we'll meet at one of these conventions one day. Absolutely. You enjoy uh, your weather. Thank you. I will. Thank you. And, and thanks so much for talking to me. Bye. Okay, bye-bye.